Hello again. Now we're going to have a quick look at how to install Active Directory Domain Controller role. Okay. All right. In the Server Manager dashboard that comes up right over there, which is basically this little button at the bottom, you click over here and Bob's your uncle. Okay, that we can shut down. Okay, here we go. All right, add roles and features. Yes, 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 everything's happy. Just click next. Okay, it's a role or feature based installation. Click next. We're happy with this current server. Click next. Active Directory Domain Services. Happy, happy, happy. Click next. Next again. Next again. Tick this box just in case. Normally it doesn't for Active Directory, but just in case, you never know. Alright, click install. And I will pause this until this gets completed. Nothing will happen. Nothing to touch, nothing to enter until it finishes. Okey I don't know. Okay, yep. Alright, it's finished installing. Now, what you need to do is promote the server to a domain controller. <coughs> you can click over here, over here. Okay, it's up to you. It's all the same. Or a few other ways there are, but there's the simplest. Just click over there, promote. Alright, that you can now shut down. That's done. Alright, as this is the first computer, the first domain controller, we don't have lots of other servers, etc. running around. Alright, it's a new forest. Alright, what's the root domain? 2012r2.com. Click next. Okay, um, basically what forest functional level do you want? Okay, if you weren't compatible with for example, if you had other servers, other domain controllers, etc., in your forest, okay, you would basically go to their highest level. For example, if they're older versions, you would stick with their older versions. Okay, in this case, we're going to go 2012 R2, 2012 R2, that's fine. Type in a password, okay. Obviously, you'd want something big and hard to crack, as this is just a, a tutorial lesson over here. We're not really typing big passwords. Okay. Click next. Okay. This, that's fine. That happens quite a lot. Okay. Click next. It'll now give you a name, the NetBIOS name, which is the old system. It gave me the same name. Yes. Good, good, good. Click next. All right, except the defaults. If you wanted to change it, you could. That's fine, but we're happy with the default. Click Next. OK, you would want to read this, check it. I know exactly what it's saying right now, so that's fine. Click Next. Click Next when your mouse works. My mouse is a little bit funny. Ah, there we go. All right. This will now check to see whether everything is met, what you have installed hardware, software, all that kind of stuff. Passwords. Yes, everything's passed. All right, click install. When this is finished installing, it does restart. Click install. As I said, the mouse was a little bit funny. There we go. Okay. All right. When it finishes installing, it gives a lot of information over here. Yes, yes, yes. It keeps going through multiple stages. Probably takes ooh, a good few minutes um, after it's all being created. It then restarts the computer and then starts back up. Okay, so I'm going to pause the video at this point. Obviously, it won't be looking like it's paused on your side. You'll just see it going through like before. Okay. It's the Hyper-V. Okay, we're back now. All right, that took a few minutes, about five minutes, I think. And over here, as you can see, we have Active Directory Domain Services. Click on that. Give it a few seconds to start up.
All right. All is happy. If you right click, you can go to Active Directory Users and Computers. Where you could basically look at all the standard things that come in, the built-in accounts over here. All right. Built-in groups. Okay, then you have computers. Right now we have nothing set up. Domain controllers, obviously there we go. Foreign security principles, nothing at present. Managed service accounts, nothing at present. Users, the standard users, okay. All right, and from here you can add, okay, create a new organizational unit, add users, printers, the whole lot. Okay, so this concludes our little video on Active Directory domain services. Please keep an eye out for our later videos and thank you very much.